Namaste to all. Vidur ji says about the signs of foolish people in Vidur Niti first chapter. Vidur ji says at Shrutascha Samudnadho Daridrascha Mahamanah Arthanscha Karmana Prepusur Muda Yityuchate Buddhahi. Buddhahi means the wise person. The people who have attained Samadhi or for example Rishi, Muni, Yogi, Tapasvi, these people consider the following people as foolish people. Who is that? Who is ignorant of the scriptures but yet he has a lot of proud, proudness. Number two, who is a poor person but he builds castles in the air. And number three, who wishes to obtain materialistic things or even spiritualistic achievement without putting any effort. These people are considered as fools by wise people. So we can be MA, we can be PhD, we can be MBA or engineer or medical doctor etc etc. These are degrees obtained from college and universities but these degrees do not have the knowledge of our scriptures. Unless and otherwise we have the knowledge of Vedas, Darshanas, Upanishads, we can never try to find out a way to escape the misery and pain of this life. This is what Vidurji is trying to say in this shloka. Further, Vidurji says, Swamartam yaha parityajya parartam manutishtati mitya charati mitrarte yascha mudaha savuchyate. He who is forsaking his own work, he is forgetting his own work, and then he is concerning himself on the work of the enemies. He is a foolish person. And further, who is deceitful with his friends, he is also a foolish person. See here, Vidurji is indicating about the working of a country because he is giving this knowledge to Dhiridrashtra who, is a, who was a king at that point of time. He says that Dhiridrashtra, you are a king, you must focus on your work, your country's, your people work. You cannot focus on your enemy's work. If you are concerning yourself on your enemy's work, you will lose the focus on your country. Very, very applicable for today. For example, countries like America or China, whoever, whatever it is, they have to focus on their country. Instead of that, they focus on other countries. It's a big foolish act. Further, Vidurji says, Akaman kamayati yaha kamayanan parityajet balavantam cha yo dveshti tamahur muda chetasam that means he who likes those people who should not be liked and forsakes those who may legitimately be desired. Today is a perfect example. We like those people who are not tapasvis. Only by their appearance, good, beautiful, shining dadi, beautiful dresses, sannyasi clothes. We like those people as yogis. We are consider them, oh, oh he is a great tapasvi. But we forsake those people who are legitimately Tapasvi, Yogi, Rishi, Muni. Exactly today this is the same thing happening. Not only on the spirituality, even on the other thing, even in business, many times it happens. Further he says, who bears malice to those who are powerful people he is regarded as a foolish person. We must be intelligent in life. If somebody is powerful, we must also be intelligent in handling with them or dealing with them. Vidurji further says, Amitram kurute mitram mitram dveshti hinasti cha karma charabate dushtam tamahur muda chetasam. He who regards his foe, enemy as his friend and his friend as his enemy and who hates and bears malice to his friend and who commits wicked deeds is a foolish person. Here we have to take a little bit of spiritualistic uh, approach. My Acharya always says that your biggest enemy is avidya. Avidya always stays with you and it is your biggest enemy but what you do, you consider Avidya to be your friend. So that's what Vidurji says, he who regards his enemy as his friend is a fool. So always try to identify Avidya considering non-eternal as eternal things. Considering impure things as pure, our human body is most impure in the world but we consider it as pure. We love it so much, we love our body so much. Our life is not eternal, but we always think to live it to eternity. We always do such activities. Every day, if you see from morning to evening, we do such activities thinking that we will live up to eternity. But our body is mortal. We are immortal, but our body is mortal. But we think ourselves as a body. So, avidya is our enemy. But we consider avidya as a friend. 
so this has to be very clearly care, carefully analyzed and understood in life try to take notes if possible further vidurji says samsarayati krutayani sarvatra vichikitsate chiram karoti shiprarte sa mudo bharatarshab he who propagates his future programs one who trusts no one and takes a long time to take an to do an action which requ- which can be done in the shortest possible time is a foolish person he who propagates his program never if you are working in a company or if you are working in politics etc never try to publish your program clearly always try to act smartly of course you must consult with the concerned people like ministers etc if you are in rajaniti and also you must also have a trust on some person you cannot say that i don't trust anyone if you don't trust anyone you can never delegate your activity so these are some of the fundamentals which we must learn if you are going to be in a professional you know place or even in rajaniti etc so these uh, five shlokas further there are so many shlokas i will try to explain in the next uh, uh, video thank you so much namaste om